Now I'm going to show you how you can set up the page properties in a bit more detail so that you can show not just the column referencing but also row referencing. So the first thing is I'm in an example project I'm going to create a new page. This is in the basic version of V7R2. So once I've got a new page I then go up to the home tab, click on properties for the page and I can see the properties appear and what I'm going to go down to is the bottom option there of the page template sections. This allows me to set up how the page is broken down into columns or rows. Now as soon as I click on the three little dots there I can see the defined sections. In the background I have section 1 which is the area that we're going to number defined with a red box around it. So what I'm going to do I can actually redefine that if I want. I can click on the pencil and I can actually define where I want this red box to start and end. And I'm going to choose the full width but just down a short way because this first row here for A uh, is not actually the same size as the others, it's a little bit longer. So there are two ways of setting up your pages. One is to hard code the column and row references onto the page which is what the default, most of the defaults you get with V7R2 are set to. Um, so you've got numbers across the top and letters down the side, but we're not actually making use of those letters and the numbers are hard-coded. So this number of columns has to match to the actual number of columns we have here, which happens to be 10. So we can auto-generate those column numbers and the row numbers, but for now we'll just look at the actual setup of the page. Um, first of all, we're going to set the number of columns to just one. And here we can see we've got a single cell. So the whole page would just be a single row or column. If I double click on the top section, I can set the starting number and I can also include formulae. I can do the same thing on the left hand side. And then this one, I'm actually going to put in there capital A. And then I can double click. So that's double clicking or on the top, on the left. And now I can double click in the center and say what the, I want the reference to show at the moment. It's using a formula to show just the column name. I'm going to add to that hash capital R for the row name so that my re referencing is now column, so it might be column 4, row A. And I can see that the cell format has now changed. Now, there is a sort index, and usually in IEC we work down the page and across. So what I'm going to do is define that we have six rows first, A to F, so I'll type in 6 and refresh, and I can see I've now got 6 rows defined from A to F. So that actually matches what I've got hard-coded on the left-hand side. And I'm now going to set up that we have 10 columns, and I can see that those are indexed. So it's going down and across the page for the sort index, and all of these have column and row as the referencing. So I can now click on OK, and that's set up to be the referencing for this page. I can just test that. If I go into maybe my favorites and pick a single pole relay and place in a contact, I'll give it the same identification, click OK. And I can see this says page three and it's 2D that it's referencing. So this is in two, just confirm that's in 2D. And if I move that across to, for instance, uh, zero C, that should then say 0C, and it does, so that works. It's important to set up those page properties when the page uh, is not unblocked. So this is now blocked, and to save that I would go to File, Save As, and choose Page Template. I can now give this a name and say this is A3 Row Column References. Click on Save, and I can now use this. If I go back to my project, I can shortcut is right click and choose page properties in there, scroll down the list and rather than manually set up the sections again I can go to page template and I can bring up A3 row column ref. Now it's really important when you click open to read the next statement it says do you want to clear the page? If you click no then you just change the title block without clearing the page. And in this page we now see that the referencing is including the rows as well as the columns.